Hey, it's Jeff, what's going on? I'm here at E3 2018. I want to talk to some of my friends and colleagues and get their opinions on some of the best stuff they saw here, some stuff that they're not so psyched about, and maybe if they could summarize E3, what would it be? Let's go see some of our friends. If you had to describe E3 in one sentence or a few words, what would that be? Incredibly busy and very tiring. It's always that way, I totally agree. Ashley, if you could describe E3 in a sentence, what would it be? It would be line capped. It's true, it's Literally very accurate. Every line has been capped at the start of the show. The fans, because it's open to the public now, the lines have been capped so early on that if you do not get here early, you're not playing the game you want to play. You know you have to fart and you think you can do it quietly and it comes out really loud and everybody in the room notices you and it's kind of disappointing. That's how E3 was for me this year. But the so the fart is this so the fart is E3? Yeah. Everything is different. It's kind of finding itself again. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to find a new identity for this thing. The show where people wouldn't shut up about cyberpunk. If you could describe E3 in one sentence, what would it be? One sentence. Uh, a, a bit thin. A bit thin, thanks. Very busy for me. Okay, that's a, a bit selfish. A lot of bold choices. A couple nice carpets. A couple nice carpets? There's at least half a dozen. Uh, it's underwhelming at times, but it's still been a lot of fun. If there was one game that you had to take out of E3 that you were allowed to just play right away, what would it be? Uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Uh, I have to go with Cyberpunk. Uh, I saw it behind closed doors, uh, and it was unreal. In that one hour, I got a more world building and kind of a level of detail in an open world that I haven't really seen in games I've played for like 20 hours. I'm sure everybody's saying Cyberpunk 2077, like, obviously. But I think for me, I'm actually really curious about playing Fallout 76 because I didn't think I would want to play that game until I heard a little bit more about it. And now that it's not going to be thousands of people spawn camping like one Deathclaw for some sort of Deathclaw skin for a quest, like I'm actually pretty stoked. Uh, absolutely control. Okay, this is the new game by the Remedy uh, people. Tell me about that. Uh, so I feel like Remedy is finally making the game they've always wanted to make, which is a non-linear, uh, obtuse narrative but also action game. It's uh, it's as if David Lynch and Remedy sort of teamed up to make something, and it, it blew me away. I would say Anthem. I mean, Anthem is this, you know, it's Bioware's new game. Uh, we finally got our hands on it, and like, the shooting is great. The world is really interesting. It's kind of like Destiny. Last of Us 2. Spider-Man. A Kingdom Hearts 3. Dying Light 2 made a really strong impression. Hey, Black! Ah! What's the most upsetting kind of thing about E3 2018? The Nintendo booth was kind of stinky. Like, smelly? No, I wish it was smelly. Oh, okay. Very good. See you later. Uh, you know, I'm a big Nintendo guy, and I think Nintendo kind of dropped the ball this year. I'm excited for Smash Brothers, but I would also like to play other games. Dan Record. Too much leet. I like surprises at E3. I like excitement, and most of these press conferences we went in knowing about practically everything, so I just, you know, I want to be entertained. Thanks. Ubisoft, Ubisoft had dance numbers. That was cool. The uh, directional air dodges have too much landing lag on platform for uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Hotel Wi-Fi continues to be terrible. It's not good. It's never been good. The metal detectors. So there's about 70,000 people here, and there's 12 metal detectors, so it's not so easy to get in. Square Enix's press conference, it, it was pointless. It made no sense. All they did was show trailers from previous press conferences. The one game everyone wanted to hear about from them, Final Fantasy VII Remake, was not present, and uh, it was too bad. You know, the one thing that upset me the most, and I'm still dealing with my feelings, is the lack of news on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, that um, game's never coming out. Jeff? It's never. Don't, just don't. Dude, Resident Evil 2 Remake is already coming out, and that, not, yeah. I'm literally gonna, I'm gonna start crying right now. <laughs> I didn't, that wasn't my intention, but thank you very much, Ashley. You're, you're very welcome. Thanks for making me cry.